starting a lectin-free diet can be as hard as starting a new workout routine or a new job. I won't lie, it's work. But it's the kind of work that will pay off big in the long run, with better health, a slimmer, fitter body, and a longer life. Take it from me, it's worth it. And to make it a little easier, I created the Plant Paradox 3-Day Cleanse. It's kind of a jump start to the Plant Paradox plan. It's designed to prep your gut for a new, healthier way of life. Clean out the clutter in your system, AKA killing off the bad bugs. Startle your immune system to force an immune response. And yes, it's a little bit more extreme than the Plant Paradox plan, but that's on purpose. You see, the three-day cleanse is designed to kickstart your system. So you start off the full plan fresh. First, take a look at your schedule and rearrange it to make sure you're getting a solid eight hours of sleep each night and that you've got time for light exercise too. The best way to do this is to set alarms on your phone, both for when you wake up in the morning and for when you should be starting getting ready for bed. That way, you're not caught off guard when bedtime rolls around and you're still doing the dishes. Second, go through your kitchen with a fine tooth comb and get rid of problem foods, including lectin-rich beans and grains, inflammatory oils like peanut oil, nightshades, dairy, sugar, and fruit. Yes, you're putting aside some things that are actually allowed on my full plan, like in-season fruit, dairy, and eggs. But don't worry, you can have some of those back in three days. For a full list of the foods you need to give up and what to eat, check out your copy of The Plant Paradox or visit my blog. The link is in the description for this video. Now, one question I always get about this step is, Dr. Gundry, what about my family? Well, everyone from very young kids to the elderly can benefit from the Plant Paradox plan. But if you've got someone who isn't making a change, try this. Put all the banned food in plastic bins with lids so that you have to work harder to get at it. It'll make you think twice before reaching for those Oreos. Third, put all the stuff you should be eating front and center. That means putting healthy fats and oils like avocado and MCT oil somewhere convenient where they'll be the first thing you grab at cooking time. And make sure your fridge is stocked with plenty of leafy greens, cruciferous veggies, fresh herbs, and mushrooms. If you'd like, you can add some wild-caught seafood or pasture-raised meat. When you've got healthy foods on hand and unhealthy foods are harder to find, you've got a better setup for success with the cleanse. Fourth, do a bit of meal prep. You don't have to go crazy and cook every meal in advance, but making something like a big batch of guacamole, a perfect snack with celery sticks, is a good way to prepare for cravings in advance. That way you've got a quick and compliant bite ready to go. Other great things to make ahead are nut mix, especially one with fresh herbs and garlic, olives, try adding rosemary and lemon zest to the marinade for a kick, and simple roast vegetables to make any salad a little more interesting. You can also pre-portion your seafood or meat into three or four ounce portions, about the size of a deck of cards. And remember, one serving a day is plenty. Last but not least, drink water like crazy. Drinking plenty of water is always a part of my plan, but it's especially important when you're starting the cleanse. Not only does staying hydrated keep you a little fuller to keep cravings at bay, and drinking tons of water at this point in the plan can really keep your gut moving smoothly. And since the point of the cleanse is to clear out the bad bugs and make room for the good, you really want that. And one other thing, you're not limited to water. You can also drink decaf coffee and tea, without milk and sugar, of course, and even a glass or two of Vital Reds. Just whatever you're drinking, make sure you're getting at least eight full cups a day, and that most of it is water. The more the better, really. I hope this helped demystify the Plant Paradox cleanse for you a little. And remember, it's a three-day cleanse, not a lifelong commitment. Though by day three, I think you'll find it's easy. More importantly, you will feel great. Just don't end the three days and go right back to not so great habits. 
Instead, use it as a springboard for phase one of the Plant Paradox Plan, or as a refresher whenever you're not feeling great. It's an easy way to rebalance your gut fast. And just look at all the delicious things you can eat while cleansing. I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video, and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.